Shalom, shalom. And first and foremost, we all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak and double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the whole four legs, 144,000, and the one third man and the children in the order. This is Shemar Allah with the Great Millstone chapter of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And um, uh, this is an old video that I came across, but uh, um, I want to just tap back into it. Uh, and it deals with the fact of the matter that we are in uh, spiritual Egypt, you know, uh, a.k.a. America, a.k.a. Uh, uh, Babylon, you know. And um, this video right here, it shines a light on the fact of this is Egypt. And the Lord did prophesy and tell us, you know, we turn away, we turn, uh, if we go against him and turn away from our uh, the covenant that he set with us, uh, his law that or to, to do his law statutes and commandments and worship other and start worshiping other gods and you know idols and things of that nature you know uh we will go back into egypt on on ships uh but before i before i play that i'm gonna grab the scripture real quick and then we'll you know we we will uh watch the video um this is uh deuteronomy 28 and 68 it says and the lord yahweh shall bring thee into egypt again with ships, you know, that was uh, part of the transatlantic uh, slave trade. You know, he was, uh, Esau was uh, shipping uh, so called Native Americans uh, and part of the Northern Kingdom out into uh, other parts of the world, Europe, and he was bringing in uh, Judah and, uh, uh, well, the Southern Kingdom, which uh, comprises of uh, Judah. Benjamin and Levi, uh, over here into the, uh, the, the North, Central, and uh, South America. All right. It says, By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond man and bond woman. So we will never, we'll, we won't see um, the, uh, the Holy Land, we won't see Israel again until that time comes uh, when the Lord uh, makes everything uh, new. And so we haven't been back in our land since the Lord, uh, and since we went into, um, and since we, uh, left, uh, it says, there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And so what that's saying is that we will become slaves and nobody will buy us out of our, uh, our, our, our hardships and slavery. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and play this video and then uh, grab some more scriptures to go along with it. The societies that were involved in founding this country, who were they and what were they trying to do? It's on the American dollar bill, New World Order. It's based on the ancient Egyptian. quite fitting too because of the, the whole thing with the, the dollar bill and uh, what's happening with that. Um, you know, this place is losing its power. And, and that's the Lord doing it, just like he did in the past. He's doing it again, you know. And uh, Esau is considered, uh, you know, the, the, the top uh, elites of uh, the Edomite, the tribe, the nation of Esau, you know, are considered, you know, Pharaoh, you know. And um, the Lord had has uh, built uh, Esau up to tear him down just like he did Pharaoh, pursuing it uh, into Romans. Um the book of Romans, the Lord talks about that, uh, how he, you know, he built up Pharaoh to uh, show us, to tear him down and show his power, you know, by making, you know, Esau so great when it comes to the sword, which is their blessing, um, which is Esau's blessing that he, that he received. Um, he, through his sword, you know, he's been able to conquer the world and, uh, the Lord uh, gave him the fatness of the earth. That was, part, you know, that was part of it, and um, you know, he used that power to uh, to really to bully his way in. And then, you know, as far as the currency go, the money now that they've uh, pushed upon people to be able to sanction them and you know uh, control the narrative, that this money system is going down the drain, and so you know. Uh, it just it just showed you that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh you know tearing this place down and tearing Esau down, you know. 
And it's a process. It's like it was a process of him uh, gaining power. All right. In concepts of government, finance, law, and the way the ancient Egyptians understood the world at large. That's why you have a pyramid. The truth will actually blow you away. Same symbolism, okay? And it's crazy because, you know, the scriptures do say, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. All right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, and it reads, it says, The thing that hath been, it, it is, which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. So, hey, like the scripture said, you'll go back into Egypt again. You know, this time it's a spiritual Egypt, but it's the same spirit that were on those Egyptians back then and are on these Edomites today to be like Pharaoh. And, um, you know, hold on to uh, uh, the nation of Israel, the... the uh, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, those 12 tribes, they've uh, gained power over uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? And they won't let them go, you know? So again, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, it says, the thing that had been, that it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. So in the past, what happened? The Lord did what? He, he, brought, he, he brought Pharaoh down, and he... he uh, destroyed Egypt with plagues, uh, pestilence, uh, famines, and, and that's what he's going to do uh, to uh, so-called, uh, you know, uh, spiritual Babylon, spiritual Egypt, a.k.a. America, you know. It says and there's no new, new thing under the sun. So all these things have happened before and uh, taking place in different eras, and this time it's going to happen again, and this time over here in uh, America, uh you know, which is controlled and ran by the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the devil the Bible speaks of, all right? Um, oh, what was I going to get into something else? I'm going to go ahead and just stop it there. And again, you know, hey, this is another indication, you know, bringing out further, more just diving in deeper into it about, you know, America and what this place truly stands for, you know, according to the Bible. But uh, Lord willing, you edified through this uh, this quick hit. Uh, I'm gonna say shalom. I'm gonna give my praise, honor, and glory to you. I will bash you. I will shine. Bash you. Crack a dash. A double honor to our apostles, elders, and great millstone. Peace I take you home from the hundred forty-four thousand. This is Shemar Arla with the great millstone chapter in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Until next time, shalom.